This week on 3D Archery, got a package in the mail. Hey everybody, welcome to 3D Archery, Greg here. Alright, I'm going to talk about the Black Hunter Hip Quiver. A um, little background, everything I get, I pay for. Okay, um, I don't take free gifts. I'm not, you know, if you can get stuff for free to test from a company, hey, more power to you. It's just not for me, it's something I don't do, I don't ask. And if they do offer it, you should say no because I feel a little obliged to like it. But if I buy it and pay for it, then I can give you my honest opinion with no strings attached. So if I really say I love something, it's because I love it. If, I, if I'm you know, lukewarm to it, it's because I'm actually lukewarm to it, just so you know a little background. So I was looking for a hip quiver. Um, I used to have one. I bought one for five bucks at a, a shoot. <laughs> it was really nice actually. It had somebody else's initial stamp down it. And I saw it on the course one day using it and the guy I was shooting with, somebody I never met before, we're talking, we got along really great. And uh, he mentioned my hip quiver and how he couldn't find one, how he loved it, you know, we're talking throughout the day. You know, he's a really nice guy, and I go, you know what? I tell you what, here, have a good, take it, it's yours, have a good one. You know, and he's shocked. I'm like, that's five bucks, I can always get another one. Well, long story short, I couldn't find many that I really like, and I, it's not a priority. But I, from Eric and Ellie from uh, Hitman Archer's Place, I got my Black Hunter bow, which I love, by the way, and I told him about it, man, this bow's awesome, I love this bow, and I go, you know, what else do you guys offer? Do you have like hip uh, or pocket quivers? They're like, yeah, we got one of those. I go, oh, great. Send me one. How much is it? And they told me, 20 bucks. I go, awesome. You know what? I'll take that. That's what I need. So they sent it to me, and that's what we're going to review today. So I got my package in. They sent it just like this. We're going to come down here. There it is. There. Ah, there. All right. What'd you do, Eric? All right, I have two packages. Oh, okay, I have pocket quiver. Ooh, oh, ho. this is awesome looking. First impression is totally awesome. And, let me turn it around, this awesome brace. All right, so, well, I'm not gonna be a pocket quiver <laughs> review. It's gonna be a pocket, pocket quiver and brace review. All right, pretty awesome. Eric, thank you, what a surprise. All right, um, this is, um, the brand is Black Hunter. Pretty cool. And if, if I'm, my German's right, that would be Neger Jaeger. <laughs> okay, but that's pretty cool. All right, boys and girls, two for one today. So let's take a close look at them, see what they're like, and then we're gonna take them out and use them. I'll give you my honest opinion on them. All right, everybody, let's take a look at it. Here it is. You know what, it's simple, it's uh, synthetic, that's actual leather, nice, nice, big solid rivets, got a snap there, goes around your belt, I like the plastic here, you know, it gives it a little ability to hold, not bad, look at nice solid stitching, you know what, that's a pretty nice little piece of equipment, and you can get it for about twenty dollars not bad at all now is it all right there it is we're gonna take it out to the range let's do some shooting with it and see how it works up next let's look at this look at this brace nice pliable that's leather look at that huh that's impressive I love the look at that turquoise nice stitching it's reinforced here look it's got those big grommets right there all right, so you can adjust it up here by using the tie knots, you know, for how much tension you want. So the Black Hunter right there, you can see it embossed. But it's pretty neat. So you cross it over this way, cross it over that way, and there you go. Look at, hey, you know what? First impression, that is real comfortable. Yeah, 
That is neat. You know, if you're one of those uh, reenactors or fantasy players, I think this would be a great piece to add to your gear. Looks classy. Oh yeah, that ain't gonna sting nothing. Pretty neat, huh? Look at that. Gorgeous piece of equipment. Black Hunter Arm Brace. I definitely like that. So we're gonna take it out and test it also and let's see how all this stuff works together. Black Hunter Pockets uh, Ship Quiver and the brace. So I've been shooting a little bit out here. Let's talk about it, all right? Brace is awesome. Um, trying to force string slap. <laughs> it's funny, when you try it, you can't do it. But uh, I did hit it a couple times, felt nothing. And what I do love about this brace is it's pliable. All right? A lot of them are very stiff. They don't move much. They hold the shape. This one folds both ways. This is awesome. All right? The Black Hunter brace. It's gorgeous. Look at it out in the sun. It's like I said, this is perfect. I can see like uh, reenactors using this. Great quality. Biggest plus to me, like I said, is being pliable. What about the quiver? That's a great question. Quiver is great. Um, we'll talk about the quiver a little bit more because that's what the video, video is supposed to be about. These are predators, Carbon Express predators. I can fit six of them in here comfortably. Um, got the plastic sheath on the back. Not too sure why that's back there, but who knows. Uh, you wear it different ways. I wear it in my pocket more than using the strap on my hip. I just shove it in my pocket, which I'll show you here in a second. All right, everybody, here it is. All right, this is how I wear mine 99.99% of the time. Just shove it in my pocket, and it works great. All right, here's where it's at. I want an arrow. I can draw it this way, All right? Or I can still do the over the shoulder. So that's the beauty of it. So we know what it holds about Carbon Express arrows, and these are pretty thin diameter. I'm wondering, how does it do with the others? All right, everybody, Carbon Expresses, these are your normal size. See them right there? I got six of them in there comfortably. So that's pretty easy, you know what? I think a six is gonna be the number you can hold on most. Can you fit more in? Maybe one more, but there's no real need to do it. The other way you can wear it, which I forgot to show you, is you just put it on your belt. Don't put it in your pants like I just did. And then you can just let it flop around like that. And it works the same way, you know, draw here, or I can draw here. And you can even combine the two if you so desire. You can put it in your pant pocket and clip it on there. So it is an easy multi-use technique. So I got a couple wood arrows. Let's see how it handles my big thick 45 woods. All right, here we are, I got five wooden arrows. It can easily fit six, not a problem. Um, feathers do make more contact in it, but these are really thick arrows. You know, I, I nickname them my telephone poles, or I call them my 45s, because they're fat and slow, but works great. You know, the Black Hunter quiver, I like this. Boys and girls, it's a great quiver. You can wear it off your, your belt, put it in your pocket, carry six arrows for you. It's definitely durable. Um, Good quality craftsmanship, good sewing, reinforced with the rivets, something you should look into. Uh, get a hold of Eric on Facebook, Hitman Archery Supplies, and he can set you up with it. So Black Eagle, they're expanding. Now they got braces, quivers, bows, they're putting it together. Great prices, awesome gear for the beginner, intermediate, and advanced archers. All right, boys and girls, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time with an all-new episode of 3D Archery.